Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly reading for June 6th to the 12th. This is for Cancer, Sun, and Rising. And while this is a general reading, I do get really specific. I use tarot, astrology, and my guides to lead your reading. Now, the reason I use astrology is because astrology and tarot go hand in hand, and they have for centuries, all right? Now, Cancer, wow, what a great week. Uh, astrologically, so... Mars is an Aries. So this is the big takeaway astrologically. I'm not going to talk about it too much because you could, I cut the uh, key dates in my description. You can look it up. But Mars is an Aries. Venus is in Taurus. All right. These are two planets in their domicile. And these are two planets that, these are two uh, alignments that are really powerful. Okay. So it's all about planting seeds, but it's also about getting what you want. All right. Especially with Venus and Taurus. Well, that's all about desire. That's all about the finer things in life. Okay. I want you to think about innovative ways of getting those things that you have wanted. A lot of that's going to be with your, in your social scene. Okay. Uh, especially your 11th house because Taurus rules your 11th house, but man, you know that there's so much activity in your 10th house right now with Jupiter and, uh, Mars in your house of career in your 10th house. Okay public recognition, achievements, stuff like that. So that's really good. Uh, so I want you to know that Mercury is finally back into orbit. It is no longer retrograde. However, Saturn went retrograde. So I want you to spend some time, listen, Saturn rules like restrictions, limitations. Uh, it also rules karma. So I want you to spend some time this week thinking about the structure of your life, what you want moving forward. I want you to, listen, I don't want you to take any shortcuts. I really want you to think about it because it really is that time. We have that window of opportunity with all those other alignments, especially for you, Cancer, especially with the career, okay, with career and, you know, your social network. And then also the 11th house, uh, not a lot of astrologers. And I don't know why they don't do this. That rules your, the 11th house is your hopes and dreams. So, uh, let's see what happens for you this week, Cancer. I am so happy you're here. Uh, let's go ahead and do your reading for June 6th to the 12th. Oh, and then one more thing is, uh, I don't, you see, I have a mic, uh, I got that, and then I just got this lamp. Um, but if you have any advice for me, uh, in terms, or tips, uh, because I'm still new to YouTube, please leave them in the comments. That, I mean, I, I read all the comments, and I love everybody. I love all y'all. Okay. Um, and it really helps me out too. So, uh, leave them in the comments and I'd be really grateful. And then that's a karma point you earn. Remember Saturn retrograde. Saturn's all about karma. Um, no, but in all seriousness, let's go ahead and start your reading. Uh, cancer. I do the traditional cult cross spread and, um, it is what my clients prefer. So if you want to book a private reading with me, you know where to find me. Secondly, it would be great if you like and subscribe. Honestly, it really does help my channel grow. And um, like I said, I'm still new to YouTube. Uh, medium new. I'm just, I'm learning the, the, cur the ropes, okay? Um, all right, Cancer. Listen, this week, okay, some things are coming up. Some things are coming up, okay? I don't want you to, listen... There could be something that does come up with a friend. Um, let's go ahead and get started with your justice card that you pulled in the past. Justice, listen, we love justice, all right? And it seems like if you have been going through some hard times, you finally, this is a huge card of karma, by the way. If, if you have been going through hard times, if you feel like you've been uh, treated unfairly, not only by other people, but even by the universe, Justice has been served. You've, you, things have been going your way, all right? You see the sword in the judge's hand, okay? Uh, cutting all that drama out of your life. You probably spent some time doing that, but also putting things into balance. You see the scale. This is really good, all right? This is really good moving into this reading. Now, for some of y'all who feel like you haven't received the justice that you deserve, there is going to be a moment of... <sighs> You may have to go through one extra hoop, all right? And the reason I say that is because you did get the five of wands. But here's the thing. This is such a tricky card. Not tricky, sneaky, all right? Because it is a card of challenge, all right? It is a, a card of conflict. And it is the main card that you pulled for this week, the heart of the matter, all right? You can see these five people um, fighting, right? But if you take a closer look, 
they're they're just swinging their wands in the air. They're not even hitting each other. So what does that mean, Cancer? It means that whatever challenge you're going through right now, whatever challenge that may come up, you can nip it in the bud like that. It is so not worth your time. So not worth your time. And it is something that you have to be the better person out of this situation. You have to be that person that says like, okay, everyone, we need to really see eye to eye here. Or, okay, everyone, this is such a pointless fight. Let's think of solutions rather than dragging this out. All right, Cancer, I want you to be that person, okay? Um, and if it's something that you're kind of caught in the crosshairs of, find, you can find a way out of that situation. You just have to be make sure that you do it in a way where it's it just doesn't suck the energy out of you, all right? And that is something, It again, it pulled... You got it here in your in the heart of the matter. Now, one thing I want you to know: Mars is in Aries, Venus is in Taurus. Uh, two planets in their domicile this week. That's really crazy. And you really have to go for what you want. You have to plant those seeds. This is a window of opportunity. All right, this whole week. Okay, and so what happens now can really affect. What's going to happen next week, right? So, um, theme of the week, by the way, is it's about, da it's about damn time, all right? I've been saying that. I want, with Venus and Taurus, with Mars and uh, in Aries, I want all of y'all to be able to say, by the end of this month, it's about damn time I got what I deserved, okay? In order for you to do that, you need to nip this in the bud, all right? Whatever challenge, conflict that's going on right now, nip it in the bud because it is definitely not good for your mental health, especially because you pulled the Four of Swords. This is all about order. This is all about, think about four legs of a table, stability. Listen, this challenge could have that an impact on you that is a little bit more stressful than it needs to be. Again, remember, this is a nominal, nominal thing you can squash like that. So don't get caught. It, it's it's affecting your, your healing, all right? It's affecting your uh, emotional journey. It's affecting everything that you want to get in order. So let's nip that in the bud. Uh, it looks like you want to anyway. You got the Ace of Swords in your crown. Beautiful card, great energy here. Remember, Ace of Swords is all about breakthrough, okay? Ace, the biggest minor arcana that ushers in change. Sword, intellect. Now, you pull that in your crown, this is great because you're going to have a mental breakthrough soon because you want that and you're manifesting it. All about victory and success, okay? Remember, that sword is a double-edged sword, all right? So, I don't want you... I don't want... I want you to remember that with great power comes great responsibility you have the power to create that energy, that breakthrough in a positive way, all right? I want you to remember that, okay? Deep down inside, that breakthrough that you're looking for, it's just to bring you ultimate joy, happiness. You want this. You want to come to the end of this, of, 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 of this cycle. There's a cycle. We all go through cycles in life, right? You want to come out in the end on top of the world. You can see him here with his family, with his dogs, with a castle, so much abundance around him. This is all about pure joy. This is legacy here. This is total legacy, okay? Now, you did get another five, okay? Remember, conflict challenge, you did get the five of cups. So, I don't want you to... There could be a point this week, and it's definitely related to this uh, conflict that you might be going through, this challenge that you might be going through. There is something where, I mean, it could end up in a, in a situation where you may be a little disappointed and it may affect you emotionally. And again, I'm getting a strong vibe of friends. I think this is with friends. Some, you know, some of y'all, it could be colleagues, okay? Uh, especially if you've entered a new job. I'm getting new. So listen, this is something that I want you to know, okay? Whatever happens, I don't want you to dwell on it. I want you to move forward. This man here, you can see that even though he's looking at the spilled cups, there are cups behind him that are full. All he has to do is look up. All he has to do is cross that bridge to a better place. So I don't want you to, whatever happens with this situation, I don't want it to affect you 
to a point where you can't move forward because you want to move forward. Look, there's nothing more than you want to do. You want to have a breakthrough and you want to have a breakthrough that affects your legacy and your happiness and your joy, all right? So remember, look forward, all right, this week. Do not look to the past. Do not dwell um, on any sort of challenges that you may go through. Nip it in the bud, but do it to be not only the better person in the situation where you speak up, but also to be a better version of yourself. All right, Cancer? Now, let's move on to your stuff. If you like this reading, it would be great if you like and subscribe. I know every YouTuber says that at least twice. It's my second time. You'll never hear it again. <laughs> you just... Never again. Well, for this reading. All right. So, um, boom, Cancer. Boom, 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 boom. Two kings, two major arcana. Let's get to it. You got the death card. I love it. I love it. I would kiss this card, but I am not going to. But that's how much I love this card. Listen, don't be afraid of the death card. This is one of the best cards on the deck. This is one of my favorite cards on the deck. This is all about transformation. You're looking for it, okay? This was actually up here. You did, remember, you did pull the Ace of Swords. You're trying to go through this journey of being in this new place and vibing with it and starting to build your legacy and starting to find that place of joy and happiness and knowing what you want now. Death is all about transformation, end of one cycle, moving into another, all right? The only reason it's scary is because A, it looks scary, but B, it's a skeleton on a horse. But let me point out two things. It's a white horse, purity. Also, what out of our body endures the longest? the skeleton all right this is a positive card especially where it sits you're ready for this new you're ready to move forward from whatever this challenge is this disappointing situation you are going to move forward all you have to do is look up okay and it's going you're entering this new beautiful 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 new life cycle all right um do you like how i said that i don't even know how i said that beautiful 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 uh, you did get the Magician. Speaking of a new life cycle, this is you beginning your journey. This is as above, so below. This is insane. This, I love, uh, listen, Magician, you have the power to manifest whatever you want right now. You are bringing all that energy from the universe. All You're basically raising your vibrational frequencies to a point where the universe is paying attention, saying, oh, look at that person. We're going to give them whatever they want. This is the power of the magician. You have all the tools on the table here, okay? All the tools in tarot. The pentacles, the swords, the wands, the cups. Take advantage of this week. When I tell you this is a window of opportunity, I'm not even joking, Cancer. You got the magician. So once you do that, something, once you get to a place where you are moving forward, you're going to start seeing things happen. You're going to start seeing magic happen, all right? Came up in your external factors area. Something is going to, like I said, the universe is going to pay attention. It's going to start making things happen for you in a big, big way. This is Major Arcana Energy, King of Cups. I know it. You're Cancer. You're very emotional. You want to be emotionally, emotionally be st stable right now. The King of Cups, that's all this person is, okay? the most emotionally stable, the most emotionally intelligent. Look at his throne. His throne is literally on water. That's how stable he is emotionally. I love that for you. It's, listen, you're getting there. You're getting there. You just have to get over this tiny, tiny bump of a challenge and you are getting there and you're going to be sitting on that throne. I love that for you. You also got the king of wands. Oh, by the way, I just got the word sex. So, a lot of cancers are hoping for uh, improvement in their sex life. It's coming. All right. Or uh, I didn't mean, I mean, pun intended, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> who am I? All right. So King of Wands is the final outcome card. This is the last card you got in your spread, Cancer. When we talk about your career, we're talking like rocket ship. King of Wands is the natural entrepreneur. He is the most like entrepreneur, entrepreneurial of the deck. I call him the Steve Jobs of tarot. Why? Because he built 
a legacy for himself, all right? He was well admired. He worked so hard to get what he wanted. He did everything right. People respected him. People looked up to him. He's a household name. You are on your path to getting recognition and sitting in this throne. In work, work, career, enterprise, uh, even like partnerships, side projects. Listen, you've got this. Cancer, I love you. I love Cancer. Um, Cancer, this is going to be a great week. Just remember to move forward from uh, whatever this little, there could be like a little thing that happens or, you know, for some Cancers, because I know how sensitive y'all are. It could be like a bigger thing for y'all, but just know that if you handle it in with great positivity, great respect for yourself, for others, you can move through it and you don't even have to look at this spilled cups. You can skip that. Boom. Go right to the transformation, right to all this beautiful new beginnings happening for you, sitting in these thrones. I love you, Cancer. I'm very excited for you and I'll see you next week. Okay, great. Bye.